सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर फाइव डेटा हैंडलिंग फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन टू पेज नंबर एटी एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर फाइव डेटा हैंडलिंग पेज नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन चैप्टर फाइव डेटा हैंडलिंग फाइव पॉइंट वन लुकिंग फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन इन योर डे टू डे लाइफ यू माइट हैव कम अक्रॉस इंफॉर्मेशन सच एज ए रन्स मेड बाय अ बैट्समैन इन द लास्ट टेन टेस्ट मैचेस बी नंबर ऑफ विकेट्स टेकन बाय अ बोलर इन द लास्ट टेन ओडीआईज सी marks scored by the students of your class in the mathematics unit test d number of story books read by each of your friends etc the information collected in all such cases is called data data is usually collected in the context of a situation that we want to study for example a teacher may like to know the average height of students in her class to find this she will write the heights of all the students in her class organize the data in a systematic manner and then interpret it accordingly sometimes data is represented graphically to give a clear idea of what it represents do you remember the different types of graphs which we have learned in earlier classes One, a pictograph, pictorial representation of data using symbols. Car is equal to hundred cars. One symbol stands for hundred cars. July, two and a half cars, is equal to two fifty. Half car denotes half of hundred. August, three cars. is equal to 300 september four cars is equal to question mark 1 how many cars were produced in the month of july 2 in which month were maximum number of cars produced page number 70 2 a bar graph a display of information using bars of uniform width their heights being proportional to the respective values we have a graph here y axis represents number of students in class 8 x axis represents academic years the y axis ranges from 0 to 350 in intervals of 50 2003 to 4 There were hundred students, two thousand four to five, two hundred students, two thousand five to six, two fifty students, two thousand six to seven, three hundred students, two thousand seven to eight, three fifty students. Bar heights give the quantity for each category. Bars are of equal width with equal gaps in between. One. What is the information given by the bar graph? Two. In which year is the increase in the number of students maximum? Three. In which year is the number of students maximum? Four. State whether true or false. The number of students during two thousand five to six is twice that of two thousand three to four. Three. Double bar graph. a bar graph showing two sets of data simultaneously it is useful for the comparison of the data we have a graph here x axis represents subjects y axis represents marks obtained by a student the bars in white color represent 2005 to 6 the bars in gray color represent 2006 to 7 maths 
2005-6, Social Science, 2005-6, 50 and 2006-7, Science, 2005-6, 45 and 2006 to 7 50 English 2005 to 6 50 and 2006 to 7 45 Hindi 2005 to 6 60 and 2006 to 7 60 1 what is the information given by the double bar graph? 2. In which subject has the performance improved the most? 3. In which subject has the performance deteriorated? 4. In which subject is the performance at par? Page number 71. Think, discuss, and write. If we change the position, of any of the bars of a bar graph, would it change the information being conveyed? Why? Try these. Draw an appropriate graph to represent the given information. 1. In the first row we have month. In the second row we have number of watches sold. July 1000. August 1500. September 1500, October 2000, November 2500, December 1500. 2. Children who prefer walking. School A 40, School B 55, School C 15. Children who prefer cycling. School A 45, School B 25. School C, 35. 3. Percentage wins in ODI by 8 top cricket teams. Here, we have a table with teams in the first column. From Champions Trophy to World Cup, 06 in second column. And last 10 ODI in 07 in third column. South Africa. 75%, 78%. Australia, 61%, 40%. Sri Lanka, 54%, 38%. New Zealand, 47%, 50%. England, 46%, 50%. Pakistan, 45%, 44%. West Indies, 44%, 30% India 43% 56% Organizing data Usually, data available to us in an unorganized form called raw data. To draw meaningful inferences, we need to organize the data systematically. For example, a group of students were asked for their favorite subject. The results were as listed below. Art, Mathematics, Science, English, Mathematics, Art, English, Mathematics, English, Art, Science, Art, Science, Science, Mathematics, Art, English, Art, Science, Mathematics, Science, Art. Which is the most liked subject and the one least liked. Page number 72. It is not easy to answer the question looking at the choices written haphazardly. We arrange the data in table 5.1 using tally marks. Table 5.1. This table has three columns. Subject, tally marks, number of students. Art, four lines crossed by one line along with two lines. Number of students, seven. Mathematics, four lines crossed by one line. 
Number of students, 5. Science, 4 lines crossed by one line along with a single line. Number of students, 6. English, 4 lines. Number of students, 4. The number of tallies before each subject gives the number of students who like that particular subject. This is known as the frequency of that subject. Frequency gives the number of times that a particular entry occurs. From Table 5.1, frequency of students who like English is 4. Frequency of students who like mathematics is 5. The table made is known as frequency distribution table as it gives the number of times an entry occurs. Try these. 1. A group of students were asked to say which animal they would like most to have as a pet. The results are given below. Dog, cat, cat, fish, cat, rabbit, dog, cat, rabbit, dog, cat, dog, 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 cat, cow, fish, rabbit, dog, cat, dog, cat, cat, dog, rabbit, cat, fish, dog. Make a frequency distribution table for the same. 5.3 Grouping Data The data regarding choice of subject showed the occurrence of each of the entries several times. For example, art is liked by 7 students, mathematics is liked by 5 students and so on. You can observe this in Table 5.1. This information can be displayed graphically using a pictograph or a bar graph. Sometimes, however, we have to deal with the large data. For example, consider the following marks out of 50 obtained in mathematics by 60 students of class 8th. 21, 10, 30, 22, 33, 5, 37, 12, 25, 42, 15, 39, 26, 32, 18, 27, 28, 19, 29, 35, 31, 24, 36, 18, 20, 38, 22, 44, 16, 24, 10, 27, 39, 28, 49, 29, 32, 23, 31, 21, 34, 22, 23, 36, 24, 36, 33, 47, 48, 50, 39, 20, 7, 16, 36, 45, 47, 30, 22, 17. If we make a frequency distribution table for each observation, then the table would be too long. So for convenience, we make groups of observations, say 0 to 10, 10 to 20 and so on, and obtain a frequency distribution of the number of observations falling in each group. Thus, the frequency distribution table for the above data can be Page 73 Table 5.2 This table has three columns Groups Tally marks Frequency 0 to 10 Two standing lines 2 10 to 20 4 standing lines crossed by a line 4 standing lines crossed by a line 10 20 to 30 4 standing lines crossed by a line 4 standing lines crossed by a line 4 standing lines crossed by a line 4 standing lines crossed by a line, single standing line. 21 30 to 40 4 standing lines crossed by a line, 4 standing lines crossed by a line, 4 standing lines crossed by a line, 4 standing lines. 19 40 to 50 4 standing lines crossed by a line, 2 standing lines. 7 50 to 60, 
one standing line one total sixty data presented in this manner is said to be grouped and the distribution obtained is called grouped frequency distribution it helps us to draw meaningful inferences like one most of the students have scored between 20 and 40 two eight students have scored more than 40 marks out of 50 and so on each of the groups 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 etc is called a class interval or briefly a class observe that 10 occurs in both the classes that is 0 to 10 as well as 10 to 20 similarly 20 occurs in classes 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 but it is not possible that an observation say 10 or 20 can belong simultaneously to two classes to avoid this we adopt the convention that the common observation will belong to the higher class that is 10 belongs to the class interval 10 to 20 and not to 0 to 10 similarly 20 belongs to 20 to 30 and not to 10 to 20 in the class interval 10 to 20 10 is called the lower class limit and 20 is called the upper class limit similarly in the class interval 20 to 30 20 is the lower class limit and 30 is the upper class limit observe that the difference between the upper class limit and lower class limit for each of the class intervals 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 etc is equal 10 in this case the difference between the upper class limit and lower class limit is called the width or size of the class interval try these 1 study the following frequency distribution table and answer the questions given below frequency distribution of daily income of 550 workers of a factory table 5.3 here we have a table with two columns the first column represents class interval of daily income in rupees. The second column represents frequency of number of workers. 100 to 125, 45. 125 to 150, 25. 150 to 175, 55. 175 to 200, 125. 200 to 225, 140. 225 to 250, 55. 250 to 275, 35. 275 to 300, 50. 300 to 325, 20. Total, 550. Page number 74. 1. What is the size of the class intervals? 2. Which class has the highest frequency? 3. Which class has the lowest frequency? 4. What is the upper limit of the class interval 250 to 275? 5. Which two classes have the same frequency? 2. Construct a frequency distribution table for the data on weights in kg of 20 students of a class using intervals 30 to 35, 35 to 40 and so on. 40, 38, 33, 48, 60, 53, 31, 46, 34, 36, 49, 41, 55, 49, 65, 42, 44, 47, 38, 39. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Narrator Akash Ahuja. 
technical coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in production Ruchi Sharma Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India